They added in 13 new camos with the season four update, and they might be some of the best that we've seen yet. And obviously, every time they added a new weapon, we're going to get some new camos for it, like right here on our ISO 45. The best camo out of this is the Prismatic, and we already got that unlocked. We already got the ISO 45 all the way up to Orion. But today, we're going to be getting our Tempest Razorback all the way up to Orion, as well as unlocking some other camos along the way. But for our Razorback camos, we need to get 50 kills with it, which we already got. We need to get 12 more mounted kills. We already we have all of our kills while ADS and we need to get 15 double kills to unlock this camo here the sky cover this camo is actually really nice but outside of our weapon camos if we go over to our events tab there's actually two camos in here if you look at all the rewards we have our splatter tactics camo which I already have unlocked which you can do by getting 25 of these little medals and then once we get up to 40 we get the train car camo and hopefully we'll have it unlocked by the time we're getting our razor back done but outside of those we have a brand new ranks camo and I was hoping this one would be bad so I wouldn't have to go for it but I actually kind of like it it's like a mix between the viper camo and like some of the older ranked camos we've seen like the season two camo but blue and of course there's a camo for getting a thousand kills in warzone ranked it's a lot of kills but this camo also looks pretty good it's very similar to our ranked multiplayer camo but it has a lot more of the solid blue and i like it a lot and for our last camo they added one in for the tomfa but i do not have this unlocked yet so we'll have to get this another day anyways let's go ahead hop in and try to unlock these camos i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i used this weapon right when the update came out i didn't like it too much it might just because of the the blueprint for it from the black cell maybe this isn't the, the best build but it, it seems kind of weak i definitely feel like the isl 45 outshines this thing by a mile but we should still be able to get it done i just need to make sure i knock out a few of these mounted kills there we go. Got a few double kills here too. Honestly, deployable cover is real nice for knocking out mounted kills. You can just throw it down wherever and get camo progress. We actually might be able to get gold real quick on this. But I think they've really outdone themselves on the camos added in this update. Most of the time it's like maybe one or two camos are, are decent, you know, for each weapon, which is kind of the case with uh, these two weapons that were added in. Both of them have one really good camo and the rest are kind of mid. But the, the camos they added in for the event are pristine. I'm glad they added in some nice camos. I feel like the last event camo was kind of like a knockoff gold. Which is still like decent looking, don't get me wrong. But it's not like, oh man, I, I really need this camo. And they had some pretty cool ideas for it. Like having it like a paint splatter and then one being like a, a painted train car is sweet. But right now I'm rocking the one from the ISO 45. I like this camo so much. The prismatic. It's beautiful. And if you guys saw last season, I did not end up getting the ranked camo for multiplayer. I ended up running out of time before I had to leave for my trip. But to be honest, that camo wasn't really good looking anyways. I kind of only wanted it for the exclusivity of it because not everybody's going to be able to get all the way up to 100 wins and, you know, ranked multiplayer. And we ended up coming just like 13 wins short. This season, I, I was hoping the camo would be bad, so I wouldn't have like the incentive to grind for it but it's actually pretty nice uh, i mean I, i'm glad that they're finally adding in some decent rewards for all the effort you have to put into ranked but at the same time i'm upset because i don't want to play it and i hope there isn't anything happening this season with people being able to just leave and cancel games and all that shit because it's such a time sink especially like when i'm solo queuing most of it i'm gonna be losing a lot of games I don't know ranked was kind of just feeling dry it's all the same maps the same weapons the same modes but at least now we have uh, two new weapons brought into it and hopefully they don't get banned. And maybe they'll actually be good. As for Warzone rank though, I didn't play it a whole lot. I played maybe like a game or two because I thought I could just go ahead and get the multiplayer ranked camo done and then I'd go work on the Warzone ranked one. I never got to the Warzone ranked. And getting a thousand kills in Warzone ranked crazy. I play so many games or just get like 20 bombs in each game of your ranked, which I know is not happening for me but I do really want that camo. And to be honest, this event is a little bit confusing, at least like on first glance with all the, the medals and everything. Most of the time, or like to unlock most of the medals, it's all gonna be through like DMZ and Warzone hopping in there and doing specific things in areas of Vondel. Vondel, these nuts, by the way. But I don't know if I like the idea of having, having like a, a whole community event where everybody needs to pitch in for everybody to unlock something. And we're actually really close to getting everything done for this. So let me throw on our, our event camo before I get this new one. We'll rock the splatter tactics for a game. And to be honest, the splatter tactics kind of looks better in the menu than it does on the gun. Maybe it's the blueprint I have on. It's got to be the blueprint. Does this don't look like a as advertised? Well, it does, but 
it's not as vibrant as I thought it would be. It's still better than last season's event camo, I think. Oh, double kill and mounted. Oh, there's our mounted kills. Mounted kills is done. Just need like one more double, I think. That's a double and that's a L. Did we even get our camo? Come on. Don't do me like that. Oh, we did get our double kills. We just didn't get to see it pop up. That's dumb. Well, now we can work on gold. And this is the camo we get from getting the double kills done with the Razorback. This is really nice. But now we need to get our three kills without dying 10 times or something like that. Might be more than 10. Might be less than 10. The world may never know. Oh, we're tearing it up over here. Until we're not. God damn it. Every time I say something. Ooh. Come on, just one more three kills without dying. Or we can just get two kills right here and don't die. Either one works for me. All right, one more, one more, one more. Come on. There it is. Show me gold. Let's go, baby. Now I'm in a bit of a predicament. I could back out and start working on my long shots right now, or I could try to stay and win this game, but we're down by a lot. Oh, actually, we're on a 10 times right now. Maybe we should stay. Oh, yeah, we're getting dusted. Uh, no one on our... Well, one person on our team has 10 seconds on the hard point. I can't really say much because I only have one second, but I was kind of going uh, hard with the kills there, so... Somebody could have stepped on it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go work on my long shots. Good luck, everybody else. So this seems to be the ongoing theme of uh, weapons in this update, is that they have some sort of barrel that adds a sight to it. Because on the ISO 45, they have one with... I think it's like a two times on it. This one is a four times just on the barrel. So you don't even need an optic, which is nice because normally I don't run optics just to save the extra attachment slot for like something that's actually like useful. This you get to double up on a little bit. Oh, there's platinum. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would, but still long shots are boring as fuck. Now we just need headshots and we're done with this weapon. And unlike that other game, I'm going to stick this one out because I think we can win this. And I already have over our 15 kills, so all we got to do is win now. That's a quick W. And we're still 10 medals away. This is ridiculous. There's got to be something I can do to speed this up. I think headshots are taking longer than long shots did. I only got five headshots right now. I think I played like four games. I just can't get shit done. I'm getting messed up. What? Oh, and the one time I go to get a headshot, dude has fucking last stand. There we go, finally. Oh, wait. Was that polyatomic? Oh, shit, we got it. Damn, dude, those headshots took like three times as long as the, the long shots this time around. That usually never happens. But I think I've uh, come back around, and this gun sucks. I don't like it. I've just been getting my ass kicked all day. After that one good game we had with it, it's been nothing but me getting my shit pounded in. It's like every gun in this game has a fast time to kill except this one. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm going to try to get the rest of these medals so we can at, at least see what the train car camo looks like. Now we officially have our Razorback Orion. The coverage on this doesn't look too crazy, but we'll check that out later. Now I'm going to hop in DMZ and try to get the rest of these event tokens. That should be it right there. I'm going to back out and see. Moment of truth. Do we have it? Oh yeah, we got everything. All right, well, let's hop in game and check out our camos. All right, this is what our Tempest Razorback looks like with Orion. And I was a little concerned earlier when we were looking at it, but I think the barrel that I had on, the one with the built-in scope, made it so the camo coverage was awful. Without it, it looks pretty good. And this is what our train car camo looks like. This thing is beautiful. I, I would have never thought of a graffiti type camo. This is actually really nice. And it's got like a lot of different colors. It's it's very vibrant for it just being graffiti on like a black background. And it seems like it has like different patterns almost depending on what gun you put it on. I'm probably wrong about that, but it looks way different on the Tech 9s than it does on the Razorback tell you what but there you have it we got all of our event camos and all of our camos for the razorback all we have left is the tomfa 
or however you say it, the Tonka truck. Well, they did a really good job with the camos in this update. I, I like them a lot. I have a feeling I'm gonna be using a few of them. But that's where I'm gonna end it. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.